tell you today a story. So in today's gospel, um, there's the story of a Herod persecuting Jesus or the, the Holy Family as they escape into Egypt, right? So he's trying to get the child and kill the child. So I want to tell you a traditional story from Egypt. Uh, they say that there's this place in Cairo where the Holy Family was escaping from, from Herod. And of course, they cannot lie, right? Because God and He's truth and so forth, and it's not good to lie. Um, so Mary tells the farmer, Mary knows that they're after them. So she tells the farmer who's planting watermelon seeds, she tells him, when they come looking for us, tell them that I saw them when I planted the seeds. So that wasn't the lie, right? The thing is, these watermelons grew right away. And watermelon take a few months for them to grow. So indeed, when they did come in looking for Jesus, looking for Mary, looking for the Holy Family, the farmer said what Mary told him. He told them, he told them I saw them when I planted the seed, which was truth. But the seeds normally take months to grow. But they didn't know that, right? They didn't know that they had grown instantaneously. And so that gave this kind of diversion so that they stop looking for Jesus or that they don't find them uh, right away. And so I thought it was a really cool story and a really cool traditional story just to pass on because a lot of the things we know uh, come from passing on from generation to generation. And it's really cool to see that there is more than what we think. Just if we open our minds, if we explore a little bit more, we'll find so much detail, so much faith, so much love in God's work and in His mercy that increase our faith. And we kind of have our churches built on tradition. Yes, it's built on the Word of God, but it's also built on our traditions that are passed down from the generation to the generations. And so if you look a little bit outside the box, you will find tons of stories that will increase your faith and give you hope. And that is what Christmas is about, right? Christ uh, became man and God became man and He saved us. And this is the beginning of the story, a new beginning, a hope, a new chapter, the salvation of the world. And so we have Christmas and we have this time of renewal. Know you guys that He's with you and there's just look for Him and you'll find Him. Look outside the box sometimes and you'll see that there are still miracles happening. There are still healings that are happening all over the world. Look into the saints, look in Saint Sherbil and see how many miracles. I think since his, since the, 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 his tomb first lit up, um, he's had over like 20, 29,000 miracles since then, which is really cool and it's very modern. So tons of stories to increase your faith and they're true and they're there and they're legitimate. That's it, you guys. Let us pray. Jesus, give us the strength to love you, um, to have faith in you, and to have faith in God's providence and that He won't leave us, that He's always going to take care of us, and that He will always be with us. Amen.